Hey guys, so today we are actually, um, we picked up Jacob just a little bit ago and we're actually going to go to my mother-in-law's campground because she needs help moving two tons of rock or gravel or whatever it is um, because I guess at her campground she doesn't want to have to mow or use the weed whacker so um, she needs my husband and Jacob to help her move this rock around the lot where her camper is and so we are going for the weekend this will be caesar's first time going camping um we haven't been camping at all this year and i think a lot of that was due to the coronavirus and stuff um but also my busy work schedule although that changed and i haven't really made a video talking about that but eventually i probably will um we went to Aldi today. We stocked up on some groceries. We also went to Dollar Tree and I got a few little like knickknack decorations um, that I want to put up, but I can't decide where. Um, let me flip the camera around and I'll show you what I got from Dollar Tree. And I can tell you guys like kind of where I want to put things or where I have an idea of what I want to put, where I want to put things. So let me flip the camera around. Okay, so I got this. It's a little sugar skull, and it has a little hangy tag. Um, I can't decide which one of these I want to hang outside, but, I mean, it's not really that durable. But I do want to hang one of these outside, so I got this one, and then I hung this up here for now. I want to say that this is the one I'm probably going to hang up outside, just because of how it looks. But I do have a nail that's, like, right outside the front door. And I kind of want to put this out there. If you guys know me very well, you know that I am obsessed with sugar skulls. And when I saw these at Dollar Tree, I was like, oh my God, the next time I go back, I have to get them. So I did get both of them. I was only going to get this one at first. And then I saw this one. They had this one and then they had one that like had red flowers instead of pink. Um, but I liked the pink better. And instead of a cross, the other one had like a heart. If you've seen them in your Dollar Tree, let me know. But yeah, they already had like Christmas stuff out already. And I wanted to decorate for Day of the Dead slash Halloween. I feel like these can work for both, obviously. But I'm obsessed with sugar skulls. So honestly, I could leave this up like year round and not have a problem with it. So I'm going to try to film a little bit this weekend while we're with my mother-in-law. Um... Obviously, like I said, we have Jacob, and he did bring all his stuff to go swimming, so hopefully we'll be able to get some swim time in because that would be fun. I know Jacob loves to swim, so that would be fun for us to do um, kind of as a family, and I got this from Aldi, and my husband wrote on there, don't touch Jacob, because Jacob likes to drink all my sparkling waters, and this is a flavored water beverage. Um, mango tropical. I don't know why they said mango tropical and not tropical mango, but it's not sparkling water, but it is like flavored water. So I don't know, but, um, I had a lot of like irritation yesterday and I kind of just need a little bit of a break. Plus I had some shit go down with my job that I haven't made a video about yet and I will make a video about it to kind of explain the situation. I am still employed there. However, I don't know that I want to be anymore. Um, so we can talk more about that in that video. But um, yeah, it's just a lot of BS that really pissed me off. Um, and like I said, I will explain that to you. I feel like I got fucked over to say it nicely. So um, yeah. But anyways, like I said, we are going out of town for the weekend to do that rock moving or whatever. I have to pack a bag for Caesar. Um, so then, you know, he has everything that he needs. I'm going to have to get food together, poop bags, some toys, you know, stuff for him to just be okay. I'm not going to bring his crate because we're going to be in the camper, but I do want him to have like stuff, obviously. Obviously, I need to bring his food and you know stuff like that but I don't know um I'm 
curious to see how this weekend is going to go with Caesar, just because, like I said, he's never been camping. And it'll be interesting to see, like, how he handles it all. Um, we've taken him to the park once because he's just now getting used to being on a leash. So, yeah, but we're going to do that later today. And um, if you see some footage, like if there's a couple videos where it's quiet or not much going on following this one, um, then you know that that was like what happened over this weekend when we're at my mother-in-law's camper because I feel awkward filming around her still. Um, I kind of feel a little bit awkward filming around my husband and Jacob, which kind of doesn't make sense, but it is what it is. So I don't really talk much when I film them. I'm sorry. Um, oh, and I also found this headband at Dollar Tree. Um, it's a little tie-dye headband. There's so much tie-dye stuff going around right now, and I absolutely love it. Like, my mom just sent me a picture of silicone ring that she got and it's tie-dye and it's beautiful and now I want like the whole collection because there's like three or four maybe even five different styles of rings with different colors in the tie-dye but this is just a little headband that's tie-dye and they had like a few different styles of these at Dollar Tree um, obviously I don't really think I would look good with a headband right now because my hair is like kind of in the awkward growing out phase, but eventually we'll get there and I can wear a headband again and not look retarded. Um, but anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Um, unless there's a little bit like as we're going to the campground or something like that, unless I put that in a different video, I probably will um, if I do any of that filming. And wish us luck this weekend because I don't know how Caesar's going to do at the camper. Um, or at the campground because, like I said, he's still getting used to being on a leash and it's a new experience for him. So anyways, I will talk to you guys again in my next video.